Hey guys, it's Scott with Scotty B Cards. In this episode, I want to talk about eBay's new return policy, Wander Franco's debut, and a story from my hobby past where I lost some money on a Wander Franco one of one rookie card. Okay, so just to jump right into it, eBay has released a new statement saying that sports cards, trading cards, you know, I think it's Pokemon, baseball, basketball, whatever else, is gonna have a new return policy, which is a very, very good thing. So what's happened in the past is people have purchased sports cards, and then if a player plays poorly, they will then return the card 30 days later, the very last time, and just say there was some flaws on the card, or saying that the item wasn't quite described as they said, and get their entire money back. So basically, they were taking a risk on a player, but they're we're not actually having any of that downside risk. They only had the reward. The entire downside risk was on the seller and they might get charged back. You know, let's say that someone paid five grand for a card, the player plays bad or he gets hurt. That card drops to three grand, the person returns it and the person who sold the card has to refund the buyer the entire amount. So what eBay did to kind of fight this problem is if you say that you do not accept refunds on your listing, the seller will only have three days from when they receive the product in the mail, not business days, three total days. So if they got on a Friday, they have until Monday to file a return, which will actually benefit the sellers because now we can sell the card and if the player you know, he can't really do anything in three games unless he gets really injured at the last second. They might do the refund thing, but that's a three day window versus a 30 day window, which is fantastic. It's funny how eBay always says sellers have no returns on their listings, but we're forced to take returns if the item isn't as described, which is what people claim these as. So this is a huge step towards the seller's favor though, because this means that no matter what, we're more likely to be covered and safe versus, you know, just who knows what will happen. So it's kind of a nice change. If you are a eBay seller who does accept returns, then they only have that return window. So let's say you accept returns for a week, they only have a week. If you accept returns for 30 days, they have the full 30 days. Overall, really good change from eBay. I think they're realizing that there's a lot of sports card transactions and a ton of marketplaces just popping up left and right. You know, you have my slabs and a few other places where you actually can sell with less fees. And I think eBay is trying to just create a better marketplace. So let's talk about Wander Franco. Wander Franco made his debut today. I'm recording on Tuesday, late in the afternoon, because I wanted to actually talk about his debut. He played amazing. He went two for four with a double, a home run, a three run home run actually to tie the game at the time and a walk. His plate discipline looked amazing. A Wander looks like the real deal. Granted, it is a small sample size. Pitchers may not know exactly how to pitch to him. Uh, but overall, he had these same peripherals in the minor leagues. He was a low strikeout, high walk player with power from both sides of the plate since he's a switch hitter. So Wander Franco may be the real deal, which will actually change the landscape of the sports card hobby for the rest of the year. Products have been kind of weak. The rookie class has been okay. You know, Joe Adele was supposed to be one of the big rookies. He's still in AAA. He's playing great. His card should be worth more. Uh, but he hasn't made his debut this year. And on top of that, some of the pitchers like Casey, Casey Mize, Sixto Sanchez, they haven't done much. Casey Mize is having a bad year, but he's not amazing. He's not able to hold hobby values by himself. There are some other players like Jake Cronenworth playing well, Hassan Kim for the Padres, both of those players. But overall, you know, Jazz is good, uh, but nobody is huge. Like in 2018, you had Acuna, and 2019, you had Tatis, and even in 2020, you had Robert, um, or Robert, I think is what he prefers to go by. But overall, this Wander Franco, like making his debut in, you know, mid to late June is a really big deal. Hopefully, this will allow him to be in the products in the rest of the year. I'm scared Tops will hold him back, but I don't think they're going to do that because now that the hobby is kind of slowing down, I think they're realizing and they need to have a good product or else they could have some real issues in regards to selling product, whether it's hobby or retail. So keep an eye out for that. I would say if Wander Franco dips, if he doesn't play well, I would look for buying opportunities because they're going to be out there. People will always panic sell. That's just how people are. And so if you see opportunities you like, take a shot at it. Do not buy at the top of the hype though is my main thing I wanna say. Wander, he is great and he could be a generational talent, but at the same time he's played one game. So don't overreact and just be smart and be logical when you're making these decisions. Don't be like me. What I mean by that is I have a story about Wander Franco rookie cards, technically prospect cards. What happened is I purchased a Wander Franco, uh, one of one for pro debut, the black one of one parallel. I paid around 450 for it. This purchase, I was emailing the actual guy back and forth, messaging on eBay, and I was really excited about it. And it was a big purchase for me because it was 2019 Topps Pro Debut. And 2019 Topps Pro Debut was his very first Topps card, and especially with a flagship design, because that matches the 2019 set. You know, Mike Trout has one in 2010. That is a really popular card of his. It's a little bit better in my opinion than his update in some ways. I actually like the image better, but the update is still great. So anyways, I bought the card and was very high on 
it in February of 2020. And then all of a sudden COVID hit. And I was very concerned about financial well-being. I had a good job, but you never know if you're gonna be laid off or anything like that. So I sold a few prospect cards just to get some capital just in case things happened. And I actually wasn't sure what was gonna happen with the hobby. I'm a collector. Um, I don't invest often and the times I did do invest, those are the cards I moved out of as this hit. So I actually sold the Wander Franco for I think 425. So I took a $25 loss on a one of one Wander Franco rookie card, probably one of his very best prospect cards outside of his Heritage Minor League, maybe even just as good as his Heritage Minor League, his actual Bowman Chrome first and his Bowman Chrome autograph. I would put this up there in the top five or so products. So I sold it and right now I bet you I could have sold it for about 2000 to $5,000. And if he becomes an all time great, I'll be really kicking myself. But it's one of those things that I was worried about financial well being and sports cards are super important. Like I always will say, stay the course, do as much as you can to look long-term, but there will be things that we miss. And I just wanna talk about that. You're gonna miss on opportunities and it's gonna hurt really, really bad, especially when you sell a card for a huge loss or you buy a card really high and then all of a sudden the market crashes. That's happened to a lot of people recently with this market correction or crash, however you wanna categorize it. But overall, I just wanted to point out that I have had some really good connections to Wander Franco. Even though I'm a little bit bitter about that loss, I still hope he does well, and I will still be scooping up tons of Topps Chrome update rookie cards of his. So anyways, guys, that is it for this video. Thank you for watching. Let me know what you think of Wander Franco, if he's a real deal or not. Let me know what you think about eBay. I will catch you this Sunday in another video, and I'll talk to you then.